thank you for clicking on the uh, on the link. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, if this goes well, I might do some more. Uh, try it out again. But uh, thanks for clicking. So uh, just about this little project, uh, it was organized by Don Thompson, uh, the fearless leader at the Poster Posse, and uh, where we picked a, a random winner and the chosen uh, winner got a sketch from one of the members of the Poster Posse, obviously me in this scenario. And this project, uh, the lucky winner was Neil Matterhoff. Um, He'll be receiving that soon. So yeah, the the character was Salmon Grandi, uh, not to be confused with Salmon Rushdie. But uh, yeah, I love this character. Um, had some fun with him. It's kind of like a, a dead or undead version of Hulk, with white hair. And uh, I just decided to do kind of a a nice big zoom in shot of his big mug. So uh, here we go. I had a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say trouble with the mouth, but I was just trying to get the expression right. I always go straight into the eyes and to the mouth. I always feel that the mouth and the eyes are the, uh, the one thing of your face that shows the most emotion. Obviously, the nose, you know, it could get ruffled or the eyebrows and such, but uh, if the eyes are on a certain angle, the teeth are grinding a certain way, you get that that sense that he's pretty mad. So, uh, um, hair, I am terrible at hair. So I, I, you can even see it on here. Like I'm, I'm not even going in on it. Um, it's something I really have to keep practicing at and honing, honing some hair skills. And uh, on this, I was using just a little bit of reference uh, on my on my screen while I worked tend to just try to figure out what their outfits look like and then just let uh, nature take its course when it comes to drawing some of this stuff. Um, I always start out with this red pencil or any kind of any kind of like light non-reproductive uh, pencil so that uh, it's nice and light but I try not to go too dark and if I do go dark that means like this is ready for pencils. Um, this point I think I'm ready for pencils so I yeah there we go just dive right in with a nice uh, technical pencil um, I've been really digging them lately um, I find that they stay sharp very easily um, they don't they tend not to be dirty like I hate getting my hands dirty when I'm drawing and um, they seem to work really well and they don't flake off and, uh, but you get a lot of good details out of them and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with some of these technical pencils lately and I just met uh, Dale Keon uh, or Keon a really great illustrator for uh, I think he's doing Batman right now he's one of those top Hulk illustrators and his his technique and illustration is just Really, really tight pencils. And I'm, I wouldn't ever try to get to that level because that's ages of practice. But uh, it's quite good, and I love looking up to him. And I check out his stuff. I even put it out on, on another screen while I'm working, just to keep inspired. And uh, yeah, so here you can see how I'm really not giving that hair a lot of attention, but um, the eyebrows. The, eyes, the teeth, that, that bumpy chin, I had a lot of fun with, with this guy. And uh, here we go, jumping into inks, um, been using kind of like this brush pen lately, it seems to really help with that kind of flourish instead of having like a tight, you know, drawing with a baseball bat type feel of uh, an ink marker. I would just try and use it in certain situations just to get that little bit of uh, a feather at the end. Ooh. 
And then afterwards I could go in with like a, a smaller pencil or, or a sort of, uh, smaller pen, a smaller nib on the pen. Um, I think this part is a little bit more faster just because I'm not, I'm not great at inking and I n would never <laughs> try to get an inking job because my control of the control of my, my pencils and stuff is just it's terrible. <laughs> I go I go past the lines all the time and I tell my kids it's not it's not a terrible thing and they say no daddy you have to uh, and that's why my my work has a lot of thicker lines because I tend to create my own lines after I go past them. So here we go, real quick, nice color, and zoom in, that's all she wrote. Thanks, Neil, thanks, Poster Posse, and let's see if we can do this again again. Thanks a lot, bye now.